Hi friends, this is Megan McQueen coming to you from my living room and I am sort of being pushed into making this announcement because a lovely follower of mine, Sarah, contacted me and said, are you doing this all together now performance with the El Paso Opera? And yes, yes I am. I am directing a very exciting project for the El Paso Opera that combines the talents of their eight fantastic resident artists with 20 phenomenal young people. The Youth Opera of El Paso is an incredible program that is igniting tremendous skill, talent, passion in these young people. They're performing this Saturday night in the gorgeous Jewel Box Theater of El Paso, the philanthropy theater that is above the plaza um, in downtown El Paso. I know many of my Las Cruces followers uh, do not love driving to El Paso at night, and I totally understand that. I'm sorry that that is the only option for this particular presentation. Um, but the for those of you who are following all together now, this 15 song review is offered by Music Theater International. MTI is the organization that licenses a tremendous percentage of the musicals that are produced around the world. Um, if anybody anywhere wants to do certain musicals like Shrek or the Full Monty or Dirty Rotten Scoundrels or whatever, um, many, many, many musicals, they have to license it through MTI. And so MTI, obviously, uh, just like m many of us, had a very difficult COVID period where um, people were no longer producing musicals and, uh, you know, the people who were employed with them had to figure out how to exist and make a business. And in someone's brilliant mind, they said, you know, what would be great after we have this stagnation period where so many people are unable to go to the theater and so many people are missing singing and acting and dancing with the people that they love and care about and entertaining their communities we should do a special show and they contacted all of these fantastic pr people who've written wonderful musicals and they said hey would you mind if we gave the rights for free to present a couple songs from your show um so they offered a slate of 15 different of like a menu where you can pick like this song or this song or this song for your first song and this song this song or this song for your second song so there's like a menu of 15 songs and they said you can perform this but only on this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday night. There's just the one set of weekend in the whole world. Something like 2,500 companies are producing this review, uh, which is very exciting. And it's happening in over 40 countries in every state in the United States, um, and including happening here in Las Cruces. So uh, Blank Conversations Theater Company contacted a bunch of local organizations and brought them together to put together what I'm sure will be a beautiful local review. If you're able to travel, I totally invite you to see this brilliant show. There are so many exquisite performers between the Youth Opera of El Paso and the eight incredible vocalists that are the resident artists of El Paso Opera. We will enjoy the warmth and ease of Mariana Sandoval, the charm and spunk of Annie Pennies, and the sass and strength of Samantha Davalos. The irrepressible Heather Dials will woo us with some Mamma Mia, and ever delightful Sarah Neely will inspire us with Little Women, our elegant yet playful Emily Merritt will dazzle with some thoroughly modern Millie. And finally, we will revel in the commanding and raw performances of Holly Messark with an offering from Ragtime and Talon Stone Cipher with a piece from Les Miserables. This is an incredible slate of performers, but also I found um, great personal pleasure of trying to anticipate what our needs as um, audience members are, what our needs as performers are, and I am encouraging everyone in the show to be very um, um, intimate and open about uh, how singing these songs has connected with them individually, how it has meant something um, to be back in a theater. It's just going to be an incredibly uplifting, like peacefully imaginative, um, spunkily entertaining, delightful evening. Thank you all so much for listening and um, know that I really miss uh, doing this lovely art form. I'm very grateful to El Paso Opera, Justin Lucero, and Ariane for being so inviting um, and willing to put something different out to people of uniting worldwide to be all together now. Beautiful voices, fantastic music, some fun choreography. It's going to be a great time. Thank you so much. I hope you're well. Please feel free to reach out. Whether you can be there or not, I'm always happy to hear from you.